Hey guys, how are you doing? Hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video, which is going to be a come shot with me around somewhere I have never been before. And that is Icon Outlet, which is in the O2. But first off, if you're new, hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Matt. Please take a moment to subscribe if you like to come shot with me like we're doing today. And I've got plenty of a come shot with me coming because I went to London and I went everywhere. So if you'd like to come shot with me, haul, to to go about grocery haul, all that kind of thing, definitely take a moment to subscribe. Just click that button down below and ring my bell to be notified of when I upload. But as I said, today's video is going to be an icon outlet. Come shot with me if you are unfamiliar. The O2, you know, the Millennium Dome for those people who remember that. But the O2, the O2 Arena in London, Greenwich Peninsula, North Greenwich Station, where the um, cable car thing is as well, opposite from Canary Wharf, am I painting the picture here, has got an outlet section, like an outlet shopping centre within half the O2. Now that bit didn't actually used to have anything in there. It was like empty. And I remember it being empty. I've been to the O2 a few times, um, once to see like things. I walked across it, um, and when I walked across it, which was probably maybe not quite ten years ago. I don't think it's ten years ago, but maybe at least eight. Um, that you when you walked back, like you walked across and you walked back, um, to the start, all of that. <laughs> It was just like a tent basically but now it's it's a shopping outlet center so what we're going to do is go to well we're going to have a look around um to see what is at the icon outlet and everything like that and then i'm going to do a little bit of a haul at the end so let's get into it so here i am at the o2 and when you go into the o2 or literally just step through the entrance this is what you see you've got all bar one there you've got the escalators up to icon outlet um, and you've got the um, restaurants and stuff to your right. So we are going to be going up here. As you can see, there's a whole list of brands. Spoiler, not all of them are here anymore. So I don't know how old that list is. But we're going up the escalators to... I won't bore you with the whole escalator. Cabardal. Cabardal? I don't know. But here we are at the top. And this is what we're greeted with. This kind of like glamorous, like memorable section. Um, I don't know if that's here around. And we've got Tommy Hilfiger and Hackett and Gant. Gant, Gant. Um, here. And then you've got, beyond that, you've got Reese and Calvin Klein. And then Ted Baker in the distance. But there's a lot of empty units, you'll see. Um, there is um, French Connection coming up. Like it's coming soon, that orange there. It will be opening soon. But as you can see, there's not much. There's quite a lot of empty units. Um, and then there's like a watch shop here, I think. There's Ted Baker, you can see. Um, and you can see the support um, beam for the one of the spikes. And we've got a sunglasses here. Sunglasses hut here as well. Um, and then some other bits there. T Tatiosin? I don't know how to say that. Um, but I have seen that. Used to be in Bista a long, long time ago. They used to have one in Bista. Um, and then we're going to continue walking along here. Here we've got like a Hotel Chocolat. We've got Moss Bros. Moss Bros. Um, a, there was some kind of um, sleep shop. And then we've got Hallmark Cards. You have got Lou's. And then you've got Clarins in the distance as well yes yeah, so there's hallmark um and then we've got crew clothing on the right and we're actually going to have a little looking crew so let's go have a look in here to see what it's like i have been in a bista not bista they have one in clark's village which i'll leave a link up to the top but polo shirts say they were 15 not all of them were um gilet um if you don't know crew it's very nautical very i suppose a bit mm, Ralph lauren -y, tiny bit in terms of the logo is on everything and things and there's a bit of preppiness to it. Um, but yeah, I have been in one in Clark's Village, which I'll leave the link to the video that I did last year, September time I think it was. This was really nice, I really liked that, £31 for that. Um, opposite that was a Radley, I did go in there with my mum, but um, didn't buy anything. And then we've got like other more high street well higher end high street higher end high street like Hobbs and phase eight we've got scopes which is a suit shop got super dry here as well 
and we're kind of moving on into like a big like atrium bit here in the middle I suppose you can call that we've got Luke on this side we've got June and Asics and we've also got a Levi's let's have a look in here um very very similar to other Levi's stores um other outlets like 18 pound for this t-shirt I've seen that plenty of times um jeans I didn't quite get a look at the price of the jeans hopefully you can see those um this one I've seen in all three of the Levi's outfit outlets um at 18 pounds in Bicester London designer outlet and here as well they have also got a guest store I didn't go in because I don't mean that open till 12 I did go on a Sunday some of the stores opened at 10 here some opened at 11 some opened at 12 and um, we've got sketches as well um, and a little look down there's a light a lower level as well and there was a Lindard, Lindars, Lint shop and a Wittars and there's Adidas and Nike down there as well and they have like this Formula One shop very random and then over here we've got Jack Wills which we're going to have a look into now um, and have a look at see what they've got in here any really good bargains um, we've got like t-shirts right 18 pounds which isn't too bad i really quite like those shorts actually they were nice um and they had a lot of this was a really nice shirt really liked that and a really nice like it looks like a light khaki color and we've got sweatshirts with the logo on which kind of washed out it was a bit weird um logo and we've got like open collared polo shirts obviously because they are every wear and we've got rugby shirts which like an open rugby shirt this was a bit weird because like sweatshirt material um and i couldn't get the price because they hide it um so yes and then they had trainers um which i never remember jack wills doing trainers back in the day i don't think they would have they're very alexander mcqueen-esque knockoff kind of vibe um and then t-shirts i know you're absolutely wearing at the price 18 pound that seems to be the going rate in here for the t-shirts and they've got like a yellow tap it's like terry toweling kind of material 25 pound for that polo in there it has no logo on or anything in terms of like a white shirt that you can see here um that is the price that you're looking at and this like blazer seems to be left over from a long time ago 85 pound for that t-shirts these were two for 30 i think it looked like um that's very sports direct this was really nice actually no logo or anything on that 25 pound for that open polo and then we've got lots of sweatshirts and stuff in lots of different colors i really obviously loved this color um really like that but i don't need any more anything um at 40 pounds i think that was 40 pounds for that hoodie um, and 2 for 36 on packets of boxes. Now, there is a next out here, outlet here as well. This wasn't open until 12 on a Sunday. And as you can see, there's some empty shops down here as well. They also had New Balance. And very, very similar to what they've got in um, the other New Balances. There's one at Vista and at um, London Designer Outlet. They had like a clearance section though, um, which I don't think was the Bista doesn't have that um and i'm not sure even no i think um london designer outlet does next ted baker they haven't got a ted baker at london designer outlet but they have here and they've got one at Bista village similar type of prices and very similar to what they've got in there i have another open colored colored polo shirt here um more expensive than what you can get in jack wills though um and t-shirt wise um we're looking at that We've got like shirts and bits and bobs, very similar to what they've got in the Bista one. But Bista has a bigger and wider selection, I think, really. Um, and I think this was 55 for that. And then we've got another t-shirt. This is actually very similar to that one I just showed you as well, actually. Yeah. Um, so next we're going to go into Reese. Now this looked like a temporary store because that logo doesn't look very permanent um but some nice bits in here very similar to the pricing in um bista really like this actually an open college polo shirt what a shocker but um very similar to the pricing in bista um but they haven't got one at london designer outlet reese wise um but yeah lots of nice like good quality um 
minimal pieces in here I really like that um and i had got a cell an extra cell rail in here but nothing was in my size next we're going in calvin klein and very similar to the calvin klein in bista and calvin klein in um London designer outlet in terms of the stock and in terms of the prices um, nothing really dissimilar and um, we've got polo shirts um, with the big logo there well it's not too big but you know um, and logo t-shirts here as well um, very similar to all the prices in other stores and we've got the grey one which is like iconic um, Calvin Klein jeans and that was 28 I believe and then we've got some trainers here as well I didn't quite get the price of those because I couldn't find could I find it? I think I gave it. Oh, no, I could. Um, no, it didn't have the price on. Um, but, yeah, very similar to what they've got in other stores across in other outlet centres. Um, but next, we're going to go ahead into Gant. Gant. Um, I didn't get the title, like, this um, front of the store. These were £19 t-shirts, which are quite good. Very, they had a lot of sizes, but they seemed to be, like, large, extra large kind of thing. Um... And lots of like jumpers. They had a lot of stock in Gaunt to be fair. A lot. Um, yeah. A lot of stock really. So it was quite good in there. In terms of the stock and stuff. Um, and it seemed to have the most stock of all the places I went in I think. To be honest. Next we're going to go in Hackett. Hackett is not in London Designer Outlet. But it is in Bicester. I think this store is a bit bigger than the one in Bicester to be fair. Um, Prolos were two for two for a certain price and three for a certain price but didn't quite catch the prices on those i'm afraid um in terms of blazers though this is what you're looking at in terms of price point um and in terms of like a jacket this is what um the price point for that is next we're going to go in tommy hilfiger um this opened at 12 i believe um if not it was half 11 or something like that um on the later spectrum again this shop um very similar to the ones in Bista Village and one in London Designer Outlet. The same stock. I saw the t-shirt that I bought in the Bista Village one um, a few weeks ago or a month ago or so. Um, they've got that in here. They had that in the London Designer Outlet one as well. Um, but the prices are the same. T-shirts are like 25, 28, 30 kind of range. Shirts a bit more than that. Um, and they had this range which they had in the London Designer Outlet one. A lot of similar stuff really um you're not going to get a different stock no matter what shop you're going in really and they have this one in both of the other ones as well so that was the icon outlet at the o2 let me know down in the comments if you've been have you been there before are you planning on going there now after you've seen this was this a good representation because i did think it was quite empty and when you went in it had like a whole list of brands and stuff, half of them weren't there anymore, um, I can't remember off the top of my head, but I don't think like Hugo Boss, um, and there were some other ones that aren't there anymore, Aspen of London, or, and then some other ones just aren't there anymore, and when you first go in, when you go up the escalators to the like raised section, which is where the shopping centre is, um, and you have like Tommy Hilfiger and then Hackett and Gant, then there's like a lot of empty units till you get to some more and things so in terms of that occupancy isn't quite high enough i will be doing a separate video comparing icon outlet and london designer outlet so if you want to see that i'm not going to mention anything about it today and if you want to see that i will well make sure you're subscribed because i will be doing that coming probably maybe at the end of june or something because there's lots of videos going up before that but i did purchase two things while i was at the icon outlet as i said the limit there wasn't that many stores and so for example tommy hilfiger i've been in three of those recently tommy Hilfiger outlets one here one at london designer outlet and one at Bist village all the same stuff if you've been to one you've been to them all so i know that is what you probably are thinking but just just in case you were thinking, oh, I might find some different stuff in like the same shops, but in different places. Again, I went in Levi's in three different places. Um, London Designer Outlet, Icon Outlet and Vista Village. Same stuff, practically. I saw the same T-shirt three times. So if you're looking for something a bit different from a brand that you have been into in one of the other outlets, you're probably not going to find that. But I did pick up something from the body shop, which was... £2.50 I think, I can't remember what the full price of this is, but it is some ham, 
soap. Now this looks like um, shower gel or something, but it is hand wash um, and it is in pink grapefruit. I do quite like the grapefruit scent. I've got a grapefruit scented hand wash that was only a pound from Dettol that I've got at the moment, but this is in the refillable bottle. So, but you can, yeah, it's just got a squeezy thing. So you can like, I'm not gonna do it because I think all of it is gonna come out. You can just do, do that and it is gonna come out. So unless you want to pump, particularly you're not you haven't got a pump with this they did sell the pump one um but it was considerably more expensive um for potentially the same amount of product i don't know i might just put this in the grapefruit one when i'm finished so that i have it in a pump i don't know but then i also went to gant i've never bought anything in gant before first time buying something in here now it isn't for me it's actually for my dad because it's father's day coming up i know you didn't, just couldn't see me for half a minute um it's father's day coming up in the uk i don't know if it's internationally the same we've got a different mother's day so i don't know about that um i needed a present for him so i picked up something in here he is not particularly like label focused or anything so um this is quite a big bag for the small item it is he's not particularly label focused or anything and oh my word this is the receipt why why is that so long i don't know um but the item was originally 50 pounds for this it is a t-shirt um but at the outlet it was 24 so better than like one pound better than half price um and it is a very thick t-shirt i have to i give it i'll give it that um and it has just got what's it got main maritime grant gaunt on it it's literally just that it is a very I, you you can't tell thickness on here but it's a very thick t-shirt and that is the proof of the price they've just written it in gaunt um so yeah and i got it in a large because that's his size and that is the t-shirt I picked up for him. There's nothing on the back or anything like that. Um, there's nothing on the sides. Um, you can get Gaunt stuff in, I've seen it in TK Maxx. Um, so if you are looking for stuff, oh, I just hit the camera. If you are looking for stuff like that, it is in there. Um, but then you don't get the nice, it's the, like a shiny bag with like really nice handles. But anyway, um, that was a massive bag that was the only one they had left but yes that was my icon outlet experience and a little bit of a haul let me know down below if you've been to icon outlet are you planning on going is it worthwhile hmm. that's debatable i'll be doing a london as i said london's iron outlet comparison video coming up if you're thinking about it personally if you got this far in the video kudos to you um i'll let you know my thoughts i'm not sure i'd be going back um because the prices, well, the stores are the same. There's not really any additional stores that you can't get anywhere else. There's like a Radley, which you can't get in Bicester anymore. That's gone. And is not in London Designer Outlet. Um, and there are a few other stores that aren't. Like there's a Reese, but there's a Reese in Bicester. That is really the, and a Gaunt. Gaunt, there's not a Gaunt in Bicester. Um, but there are others in other outlet places. But to be honest... I wouldn't go that there. Wembley, I'll talk more about it in my video, but Wembley and O2 also suffer the, from the fact that they're massive event places. And if there's an event, you can't really go there, can you, to those places because they'll be swamped. But anyway, that is my video on Icon Outlet. Um, please take a moment to subscribe if you're not already. It's free, there's no cost to you. Just click that button down below. Um, but other than that, thank you guys so much for watching and I shall see you in the next one. Man, I still go, 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 go. Hustle out, hustle every single day